Okay, post-trib moment number 37. Now what Silly Anderson does here is he tries to teach that the tribulation is different than the time of God's wrath. I mean, I, I don't know anybody that teaches this. And, you know, he talks about the, the pre-trib rapture being a recent teaching. Um, show me anybody that taught this even a hundred years ago. This warped view that there's a, a time, a tribulation time, and then a time after that. And that there's two second comings of Jesus Christ. One at the end of Revelation chapter 6, and then one at the end of Revelation chapter 19. Please show me anybody. You talk about a recent teaching. This teaching derived from this little nut right here. You know, so don't get excited about the rapture not being around, you know, centuries before, which I've documented earlier that it was. But listen to some of this nonsense. Mark 13 talks about they all line up perfectly because at the end of the sixth seal, that's where the sun and moon are darkened. And that's what the Bible calls after the tribulation. So the seven trumpets and seven vials of God's wrath are after the tribulation. Eh, wrong. What he's trying to say here is that Revelation chapter 6 lines up with Matthew 24, Mark 13. And it does. But that doesn't mean that Revelation chapter 6 is chronological. Revelation when it goes into the seven trumpets and the seven seals, or seven, I'm sorry, the seven vials, that's giving more detail into the time of the tribulation. That's giving you more things. A lot of those judgments overlap. It's not, you know, that they are all taking place sequentially. They don't. There's a lot of them that overlap with each other. And that's a very, very detailed study. You know, people say, oh, tell me how that works in five minutes or less. Well, I can't. That takes many hours of showing verse by verse and teaching intricate Bible teaching see that's the whole thing you know let me just let me show you a, a scripture here okay second Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 preach the word be instant in season out of season reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and doctrine long suffering and doctrine for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Right there. People with itching ears listen to this kind of nonsense fables that he's spewing. But you see, the whole thing is, it takes time. Okay? Sound doctrine takes time long suffering it takes a long time okay all long suffering that's kind of like patience when you preach all right real true bible believing preaching will take hours you study the you know the bible you'll see paul preached all night you know the one time the guy fell out of the window and died and they went and revived him you know brought him back to life and stuff real true bible preaching and teaching takes a lot of time that's why I have studies on my channel that are three hours in length. Okay? It takes time. I can't just, you know, uh, give it to me in five minutes. I, I, I can't do that. All right? The events in the book of Revelation, chapter, chapters, you know, from 7 to 19, that whole section in there, it's retelling the events of the tribulation over and over again it's getting into more detail each time okay so this stuff that he's trying to teach here is just heretical it's nonsense